back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very different kind of video than I usually do. As you can tell, since I'm not usually in this room, nor am I usually standing up. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what my self tanning routine is. Um, obviously right now I am pale as heck. This is my normal skin tone. I don't have any tanner on. I haven't had any on in a while. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how I get a really natural, even looking tan and what products I use and how I prepare for a self tanner because depending what you do beforehand can depend how long your tan will last and what it'll look like. So I'm gonna walk you guys through all of that and then show you what it looks like afterwards. So let's get into it. Okay, so pre-tan, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to obviously like take a shower and exfoliate really, really well. This is when you're gonna to wanna to get out like a loofah sponge or something like that, shave your legs, like get ready. You literally need to have the cleanest, most smooth surface as possible. So do anything to get you prepared in that way. I use like a little exfoliating mitt or again, like I said, like a loofah sponge and make sure your skin is as clean and ready for tan as possible. Um, the second thing is a lot of people have problems with tan like sticking in the creases of their wrists or on their feet or elbows and stuff like that and it looking darker there or splotchy. The biggest tip I can give you is to put lotion in those areas before you tan because it makes it like way more like moistened and then it doesn't stick there. So another thing that I do, and I'm not sure everyone does this, but it works well for me, is after I put the tan on, I put lotion on my hands again on top of the tan just to get that even thinner kind of so that it doesn't stick to your hands because that's people's like biggest issue is their hands look orange and you can tell they have a fake tan. So I'm going to moisturize um, my whole body, including my face. I do put tan on my face. Some people don't. That's kind of up to you. It's kind of stressful because if you don't do it fast enough, one area could be darker than the other, but it's really not that like high stress. It's honestly, you have time. So I do tan my face. I know a lot of people that just put makeup over their face to match their skin tone because if you do have like a skincare regimen, it comes off your face really quickly. But I thought might as well just kind of put it on there to begin with. So I am going to get into it. Okay, so after you've moisturized your body, um, another thing that I feel like was implied, but you may not know, is obviously put your hair up, take all your jewelry off, everything like that. You don't want to stain anything and wear clothes that you don't really mind getting tan. Obviously, when you're tanning, you're not going to be wearing clothes, but when you put clothes back on, there is a chance of rub off and there probably will be some, so you don't want brown clothes that you care about. So be really careful not to wear literally nice clothes. And right after you tan, you're gonna to wanna to wait a little bit before you even put any clothes on because the tan will come off. So I'm moisturized and everything like that. And now we're going to begin. The products that I use, I mean, obviously it's up to you. I just have gone through a few different ones and this is the one that I like the best. I've used like so many different brands and so many different kinds of things like sprays or lotions or anything like that. But I found that what makes the most even and natural looking tan is the mousse and I use this and this is the loving tan deluxe bronzing mousse in dark everyone on instagram is like obsessed with loving tan and i was like okay sure like this is just another like i mean scheme it's not that great and then i ordered it and i love it it is the most natural looking tan i've ever had um and i've used again like a lot of different self tanners it doesn't smell as bad as a lot of self tanners do like if people get a self tan or a spray tan you can smell them like that's just kind of a thing but loving tan is really not bad at all um and it goes on the most even i found like some other tans get a little splotchy and some areas can be a little darker than others no matter how you put it on but loving tan i found is the least likely to do that so and i'm like obviously not sponsored or anything i bought all this myself so i'm not like i don't have to say this but i actually believe this so this is the brand that i like and then i use the mitt to put it on this is not their mitt because i forgot to order one i just bought one from ulta this is the saint tropez so saint tropez mitt um this is a new one um if you use it it's gonna get disgusting but just keep reusing it obviously these are not like cheap so what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray this onto here and then put it on your body and i will show you okay so i have my mitt on this hand i'm gonna start um by applying onto my left arm and then i have my mousse and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna squirt it out like running low so i'm probably gonna get half my body done into your mitt and it's kind of up to you how much you want to put on there if you're new to tanning you might not want to put a lot on there because you might not be able to rub it in fast enough i've done this a few times so i can put quite a bit on there and spread it out pretty evenly pretty quickly but so you just like have this on your arm okay it's gonna look or on your mitt it's gonna look a little crazy at first and you are gonna look extremely dark until you wash it off but it does wash off lighter than it goes on so don't freak out but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get this and literally just put it on i know it looks crazy don't freak out it's gonna be okay and you just rub it in it's best if you do it in like little circles i find that it looks the most even and smooth if you do it that way can you see how tan that is and just kind of rub it all over your arm 
and I do put it on my hands. Again, some people don't. Um, I do. And I've already moisturized my hands and then I just kind of go really lightly over my hands because they do get darkest really quickly. And make sure that you like bend your fingers otherwise in between like your knuckles will turn white and then people can tell that you've been self tanning and not very well. Um, so just rub it in, make sure it's super even. Like you can see there's like no streaks. Um, there's obviously gonna be a little spot where you left off and that's where you continue with your next layer of tan. Sorry, I'm like looking in the viewfinder, I can't see any of this. So once you get your first section done, you just continue through your whole body, um, being really, really careful um, around places where it's gonna stick. So like knees and ankles just go lighter in that area because it is gonna be a little bit darker because those tend to be drier areas no matter how much you moisturize them. So be careful about that and be quick on your face if you're going to tan your face it's not that big of a deal but you don't want to leave it on there and just kind of hope for the best because you will have like a dark spot on your face if you just leave it and do something else i don't know why you would but please don't do that so i'm going to do the rest of my body and then i'll show you guys when i'm done okay so now it's all done i don't look that much tanner right now it's because of the ring light but it'll develop over time so leave it on as long as you want it to get darker is mine the express one did i say no they have ones that are express where it's like two hours and then you're tan but i leave mine on for a really long time i sleep in mine even though it sometimes turns my sheets brown because i want my tan to last a super long time and i want it to be really dark so obviously now i'm wearing like really big comfy clothes ones i don't really mind getting dirty ones that are going to cover a lot of my body so that i don't get other things tan um and then i did my face and i put more moisturizer on my hands and a little bit more on my face and around my ankles and knees and everything like that to smooth all of that out so i'm not splotchy what other questions might you guys have about self tanning oh to get your back honestly i don't have an answer to that one i wish that i did i always wondered that before i started self tanning and i never could figure that out my best recommendation is is to have a friend come do it for you i don't have anything better than that um i just reach as far around as i can go and then leave it at that because if you smooth it out well enough you can't tell that much and i don't really show the middle of my back all that often so I don't really mind if it's a little paler there. Um, if you have any better suggestions, please let me know, but that's what I have for right now. So this is the final look. It's not going to look this way in a few hours. So I will show you guys once it's developed and showered off, cause it'll be a very different look. As you can tell when you do your own, you will find that it's way more even. And if you're a little interesting looking right now, it's gonna be a lot better once you wash it off. So I'll catch up with you guys once that's happened. Okay, so that's it. Um, this is the final product. I am obviously much tanner than I was before. Um, so I'm very excited about that. It's, it looks super even and natural. There's like no orange tinge at all. Um, it doesn't smell, which is great. So that is the end of this video. Um, if you guys have any questions about self tanner or tanning routines or anything like that, please let me know. And also, I'm sorry, I keep playing with my hair. I just got extensions. So I'm gonna be doing a video soon on everything about my extensions and my journey with extensions because it's been a lot. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything else y'all want to see and I hope you guys enjoy this video.